Let's talk about social media managers, shall we? You know these people in your company that are like part-time designer, part-time video editor, and part-time data analysis? And also sometimes they have to make fool of themselves by doing these little TikTok dances in the office. Well, I know this struggle because I used to be one of them. So in today's video, I really wanted to show you five super easy ways you can use Photoroom to save up your time on content creation and in general, make your life much easier as a social media manager or a content creator. And in this video, I was joined by our amazing social media manager, Steph. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get into it. Step, how do you use Photoroom as a social media manager? I use it for so many different things, but one of the main things that I use it for are thumbnails. Thumbnails are the cover photos that you see on, for example, Instagram Reels, TikTok, or YouTube. So one of the things that I do like to do is to make the pictures a bit more dynamic by adding some layering to it. So Photoroom is perfect for that. What do you mean by layering? What I love to do is take the background away from the original photo and then add text in. Question. Yes. How do you take the background away? Well, <laughs> I open photo room and let the magic happen. It just automatically takes it away from you. Easy as that. So then I'll save the transparent photo. I'll go back to the original one, add some text in and hide it slightly behind the subject. Mm -hmm. And then I will put it the uh, transparent version on top. So when you look at it, it looks like it's slightly hidden rather than just putting text over the top. And I think it adds a nice kind of dimension and layer to it. It makes it look a lot more professional as well. So another thing I also do, um, which is key for anyone within social media, whether you're using Instagram, Twitter, as you know, they all have different dimensions for the photos and videos. So resize is absolutely key for that. I'm often given assets or photos or even take photos myself that cut things out and they're not the right size or shape for what I need. I'm so the guilty one. <laughs> I send staff my thumbnails that are usually in horizontal format, right? And she has to post that on Insta story, which yeah. is the other way cool. around. Uh, so I literally just put it straight into photo room and it resized it for me. And then if I need to retouch it slightly, I can, but it's just perfect to get it the right way around. What photo room does, it's not cropping the picture. It's basically creating a picture around it. It's like magic. It helps performance as well, knowing that the, the photos are going to be shown clearly on Instagram when you're scrolling through. People are going to like that more. In our community on Facebook, um, there are so many talented, talented individuals who use Photo Room for their products. And I try and make sure we showcase them as much as possible on Instagram. Um, but often the pictures they have created in Photo Room are perfect for their pages and the dimensions they need, but what I, not what I need them for. So I will then go through and, if needed, expand them slightly more so that they fit in. The this is Photo Room? Oh yes. That's all photo room. So good. But yeah, so if they're, they're missing a little bit on the side, even though they've already made it in photo room, I'll put it back in there just to make it the right dimensions for us so that it fits on our page and all of the photos that have been given are consistent. And you know what's the best thing about it is that you don't have to remember the dim dimensions yourself, right? Yeah. So within photo room, it gives you so many options as Instagram posts, Instagram story, and even more, but they're the ones I use the most. E-commerce platforms as well. So if you are an e-commerce seller, if you're selling on Amazon or any other platform out there, there's so many options and you don't have to remember the sizes, you don't have to remember the numbers. So another thing I've done in the past as a social media manager, when I had my own little e-commerce clothing business, we've done many things as social media managers, haven't we? Is use Photo Room to help promote my products. And it was absolute game changer. Putting the images into Photo Room and it was putting them into a super realistic either backdrop with AI backgrounds mm -hmm. or templates. I think my sales like tripled when I then started using Photo Room. But the, the sale templates are super minimalistic if you want super minimalistic or you can add a little bit more detail and it really helps the buyer visualize the product in their life which is mm. key to help increase your sales for sure do you also use templates on photo room for our social media yes i do and i want to use them even more i also use them on my own personal account as well but for instagram stories for example they are perfect you can just resize them even if you look through photo room and they all look square resize them and it'll make them into the perfect size. You can resize it all in photo room. Yeah. I need a jingle for that. Okay, show me your template. Okay. Show me your stuff step. Stuff stuff in photo room. Okay, so here are some of my templates. So example of a template that we've used before. Mm -hmm. You can find our Instagram. So we use the ones in the app. I then, uh, which saved us a lot of time. I didn't have to wait kind of a week for designers to come back to me. So it meant that I could turn this around very, very quickly. 
sometimes when I'm editing a picture and I don't really know what to do, I'll just start with a template. And by just seeing colors and shape and different ideas, I might get better ideas myself. Definitely. It's perfect for yourself, but also if you do need inspiration from other people, with Photo Room Teams, if you need advice or if someone sees your work and they want to add some feedback, they can comment it there and you can kind of keep the conversations going throughout it rather than sending each other messages or having meetings in person. It makes it a lot more concise. It's a lot quicker for everyone. It means you can create the content and getting out a lot quicker. True. That's a feature that I definitely use a lot when I work with Jan because everything we do, like we collaborate on so many projects. So instead of sending a message or asking Jan in person, you know, I can see his comments right away. And they flash up as well. So if you're doing something and you know that it's an urgent request, obviously you can turn notifications off. But I think it's really helpful to know that you can go get these things done very quickly. So another thing that I use Photo Room for, both on my personal accounts and the Photo Room accounts, is of course, photo editing. So whether you've got a dodgy background, you need to replace it with AI backgrounds. If someone's photo bombing your photo, whether it's in the office when I'm trying to get product shots or just a selfie out by the Eiffel Tower, it is extremely helpful, but I do love AI backgrounds as well. Mm. Send me to a beach any day. That's probably my go-to. Right. One of my other favorite AI photos is the edit challenge mm. that we use for the community. What is edit challenge? Okay, so once a month, Justin... And Justin is our community yes. manager. Um, he'll put himself in the office normally doing something funny. People are so funny. creative. It's always so interesting to see what people come up with. The ET ones are my favorite. That's so good. They are really funny. Justin is a funny guy. He is a very funny guy. I have a surprise for you. Oh. That was a challenge. A drinking challenge? No. Oh. Social media challenge. Okay. Let's <laughs> see who can make a better social media post promoting this mug in one minute using photo room, obviously. Challenge accepted. And you guys are gonna be the ones who decide who's better. We're gonna post this on Instagram with a poll and ask you who made a better social media post. If you do follow us on Instagram. That's why you should follow us on Instagram. You should vote. Good plan. Right now. Oh no, it would have gone. Are we ready? I was born already. Are you catching the timer? Don't cheat, you're cheating. No, I'm the timer. Start. Did you press it? Yeah. Oh my God. You said when we get started and open it. <laughs> Chaos. Oh my God. Oh, what? Dun, dun, oh no, 10 seconds is already gone. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, I'm done. No. Stop. Who came out with this drum? <laughs> 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 Okay, time is up. This is what we created. We'll put our beautiful creations on the screen and let us know in the comment section down below which one do you prefer. Do you agree with what Instagram decided? Well, Steph, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any video requests, let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget, follow us on Instagram. Do it right now.